workout number three for week one. Today is going to be a strength workout. So if you have a barbell, a kettlebell, or a dumbbell, we will be using those for the workout today. So we're gonna start off with the warm up, which is gonna be three movements and we'll cycle through it three times. So the first one is going to be leg swings. So you can grab a wall. Today I have a truck since I'm outside. And we're gonna do five leg swings on each side. Four and five. Good. Today we're going to be using a lot of our glutes, so we're going to do a figure four stretch. But you can either do this laying down or I'm going to do it up against a wall or a truck. So I'm going to take my leg, cross it over, and I'll really feel this. If I lift up my right leg, I'm going to really feel it in my right glute. You can push on that knee a little bit or get down lower in the stretch, holding for 10 seconds. You're going to switch and do the same thing on the other side. For the last stretch, we're gonna do a lat stretch since we're gonna be using some of our arms today. So whether it's a wall or a truck, you're gonna put both of your arms up onto the wall and you're gonna stretch your shoulders like this, kind of bounce around or just hold for 10 seconds. Awesome, for the next part of the warm up, we're gonna get our body moving a little bit more. So this one you're gonna cycle through two times, which is going to be jumping jacks, squats, hinges, and arm swings. So first for the strength section of the workout, we're gonna start off with the front squat. So whether you have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, what I have right now, I don't have a barbell, but I'm sure you'll get the gist. So if you start with the kettlebell, always make sure that you pick up the kettlebell with a proper form. So as we come down, always keep a tight back and shoulders as we bring the bell up. So the first thing for the front squat is you're gonna keep your chest up. Start with your hips backwards and not your knees. So bend the hips backwards and down, knees pressing out and back up. So keeping the chest up, trying to get your hips below your knees. And as for the dumbbell, you're just gonna hold it in an upright position and just hold it just like this. And the same thing goes when you squat. The next part of the workout is the reverse lunges. So just like we did with body weight, but we're now we're just adding a little bit harder make it harder either grab a heavier weight or you can do a five second negative on the way down so you go one two three four five and back up the next movement is going to be a single arm row so whether it's a kettlebell or a dumbbell we're going to be single arms we can work on a unilateral movement so it's just strengthening the core so as you pick up the bell for the intermediate we're going to bend over row and I'll show you the modification for leaning up against Keep a nice tight body, and as you bend over, you're gonna shrug your shoulders or retract, and then pull up and hold for just a second, and lower down slow. Retract, pull up. For a beginner, or if you have too much weight, you can put a lot of stress on your back if you're in this kind of position, if you don't have a tight core. So I would suggest leaning up against a chair, a stair, or even the wall to help support. So I'm gonna lean up against this tire, The next movement is going to be a one arm bench press. So you take your dumbbell and lie on your back. I like to bend, bend my knees, helps me give me some more support and I'm gonna think about pushing my back, my lower back into the ground just like the dead bug. I'm gonna put my elbows out to about 45 degree angle and push up and slow. 
slowly lower, barely touch, and come back up. I can put my hand out for stability on the other side. Awesome, we're gonna finish off this strength workout with some core. So for the beginner, it's gonna be a dead bug, and the intermediate is gonna be sit up. So opposite leg and opposite arm here, pushing that lower back into the ground. And for the sit up, I like to put my soles together and sit up all the way through to make sure I'm coming all the way through my hips. Great job finishing the first circuit of the strength. Now we're going into the second circuit of the strength portion, or this is gonna be five sets of the reps, depending on if you're a beginner or intermediate. So we're gonna start off with thrusters. So grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell, make sure to pick it up with good form. Remember, you're gonna squat down, and then as you're coming up, you're gonna push it over your head, and then lightly lower it down. Squat down, and push over your head for a nice fluid motion. The next movement is going to be plank rows. So for the beginner, you're gonna come up into a plank position, your feet are going to be about wider than hip width and you're going to do, you're going to row. So making sure when you row, your body's going to want to twist, making sure that you're trying to push that right hip down when you're rowing with your right arm. Just like so. And you're going to do that on each arm. For the intermediate, we're going to, I'm going to challenge you a little bit and you're going to do a push up between each row. So that will look like you're going to do a push up. Back up, row, push up, row. For the third movement, we're gonna be doing walkouts or burpees depending on your ability. So for the walkout, arms above your head, bend down, walk out into a high plank, and walk back up, just like so. And then for a burpee, remembering to jump high and then touch the chest on the ground and come back up. For those of you feeling extra motivated today, there's an optional workout at the end of this and it's going to be 8 times 30 second sprint. If you don't know what kind of what 30 seconds is, you can do 8 times 100 meter sprints with a 15 second rest in between each sprint. So if you do it, good luck, please comment in the Facebook group so I can see that if you did the workout and you can encourage others to do so as well. <laughs> wow. We just finished that workout. It's about probably take you about 45 to 55 minutes. This is half sweat, half mist. As you can tell, it's dark right now. So good luck. You guys will do great. <laughs>